One Biloco burrito has a cult following more than any other on our menu. So far in 2012, almost 300,000 of them have been consumed. And we've sold over 2 million since 2000, when we first introduced it. Since it's so loved, we're featuring it for our first episode of Project Globally Inspired. What is it? The Buffalo. It contains Boloco's special rice, chunky blue cheese dressing, chopped celery, and spicy buffalo sauce. But we all know that those ingredients haven't always lived inside a tortilla. So we have come here to none other than Buffalo, New York, to find out how this burrito's inspiration, the buffalo wing, came to be. We started where it all began in 1962, at the Anchor Bar. Because whatever you go today, even if it is a fancy restaurant, most likely you're gonna find buffalo wings. And that's the place where they were invented, right here. As the story goes, Dominic Bellissimo was bartending here one night, and his friends asked his mom, Teresa, to come up with something that wasn't on the menu. So, Teresa took some leftover chicken wings that they only ever used to make soup stock, and... and she deep fried them and she came up with this beautiful sauce and celery and blue cheese, and she served it. And that's uh, the, the rest of the story. So it sounds simple, yet yeah. everyone is inspired by it all Everybody. Over the world. We had to see this inspiration for ourselves. So we sent Boloco's own Alfredo, aka Drama, into the kitchen. Can an expert burrito roller make buffalo wings too? What about suicidal wings? Suicidal? Suicidal is very hot. Uh oh. Drop them into the fry oil. Boom. It looks like this suicide sauce is really suicidal. Put a little suicide sauce on there. Yeah, put more, put more. Oh my god. You're scaring me. Stop. I feel like I might cry. It's so hot it cinches your nose hairs. Boom. Wings up. Suicidal. I'm actually like actually scared right now. Okay. Ready? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's burning my throat. Literally crying right now. Water time. Cheers. Bold and inspired. Oh. This is too bold. And I am inspired to drink water right now. We need to go back to Boston apparently because we cannot handle buffalo. But could buffalo handle us? Could Buffalonians handle Boloco's Buffalo Burrito? We hit the streets of Buffalo to find out. The chicken wings went over so good, the, the burrito probably would too. I'm thinking chicken wings have to stay the way they are. They just, then you don't want to mess with the combo and you don't want to turn it into a burrito and you don't want to turn it into soup or anything else, buffalo. I like chicken. And hot sauce. And hot sauce, yeah. Yeah. So put it in a tortilla? Yep. Yeah. Buffalo burrito, I could, I mean anything buffalo is great. Hot sauce, chicken. Yeah, that, that, would be, that, sounds that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. I want one. Yeah, I would eat it. Yeah, I want one. So the casual wing eaters like the idea, but what do wing experts think? Do you think that a buffalo burrito is a good idea? Oh sure, everything that says buffalo is a good idea. So that's why you don't have a buffalo burrito. It would just be too good. It would be way too good. Clearly, no matter what form this hot sauce and blue cheese combo is in, it's good. All the way from Buffalo to Boloco. Teresa, you invented the buffalo wing so long ago, and our menu is forever indebted to you. Globally Inspired. This episode of Project Globally Inspired was inspired by the culinary traditions of Buffalo, New York, which now live inside our delicious tortillas.